In this short and easy tutorial, I want to show you how to create an add-on domain in cPanel and install WordPress in it. If you have a shared hosting plan, chances are you can have add-on domains hosted on the same plan next to the main domain. To add these domains in cPanel, scroll to the Domains section and click Add-on Domain. Under New Domain Name, put the name of the domain you want. You should of course already own this domain name. Here I am adding a domain called thingsiwanttosay.com, which I own. Once you click in the subdomain box, the other fields populate automatically. Leave everything by default and click Add Domain. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help it grow. When the operation finishes, you will receive a success message in green. Depending on your host, you may receive an orange message stating that the certificate is being created and automatically installed. My host offers free certificates. Now let's install WordPress on the add-on domain. Click the checkered table on the top left to go back to cPanel. Then scroll to the installation section and click on WordPress. The location of the WordPress installation might be different. This is depending on your host. Once you are in the WordPress installation screen, click the drop down next to install and choose custom install. Under installation URL, click the choose domain box and choose the newly added add-on domain. It will appear here. Then under site name, put the name of your site. And do the same for site description. Now scroll down and change the password under admin password. Of course, use a password of your own that is strong enough. Here I'm using any password just for the sake of this tutorial. And then keep the admin email unchanged and click install. The installation should take seconds to finish. Here you see that it was installed successfully. So when the installation finishes, check if the site is working. Click on the site name and you should see a vanilla WordPress site. Let's also check the WordPress admin dashboard. I clicked on the link for the admin dashboard and it took me directly to the back end of the WordPress admin dashboard. Now let's create the email we used in the WordPress installation, which was admin at thingsiwanttosay.com. So to do this, go back to cPanel and click email accounts. You can find this under email section. Then on the right side of the screen, click on the create button. Under Domain, choose the newly added add-on domain. Under Username, put the same one as the one used in WordPress installation. For us, it was Admin. Under Password, give it a strong password and then click on Create. Now you are ready to customize your WordPress site. I have a complete tutorial on how to create a WordPress website. You can find the link in the description. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.